DJ Anya here for Northstar Radio. We're here with uh, the Fuse guys, and uh, you're playing TF2, am I right? Yeah, I'm one of the TF2 players for Fuse. I play Scout. I'm Greg, of course, from the team of Fuse. So, so like, just come down here, just to have a bit of fun. The TF2 tournament here isn't as big as normal. You know, not not a standard Samurai series. So it's about I think it's only about five teams, but should just come down for a bit of a laugh, and come and see everyone again. And you know, it's a big community atmosphere in Fuse as well. With you know, the CSS guys, got four guys. CF2 guys, the management all down here, so it's good fun. Okay. So, what, what's your experience been in the item series so far and say previous item series? Uh, well, the, the winter event is always a smaller one, so it's much more down to a community feel. Having a laugh with everybody is uh, it's as simple as that. Uh, the last uh, I thought you won was one of my favourite events just because there were only like 30 of us, we were all just drinking together the whole time. It wasn't like you're trying to split your time between so many people all the time. It's just you know, down to having a laugh with everyone. So that's what I love about the Winter Ice Series. But then it does feel a bit less unprofessional as such, you know. But that's, that's the whole point of Ice Series, though. It's ne- not meant to be a professional. This isn't Dream Pack. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, well, Dream Pack would be fucking awesome to go to, but, you know, Ice Series is just a bit, bit of a fun game. But, uh, would you say you guys are aspiring to get to Dream Pack? Well, they don't do TF2 or Dream Pack, so. You should make them do TF2 or Dream Pack. People have tried, and it fell down the pad a few times. What, what can, um, can I ask about what you think of the move that TF2 has gone to free-to-play compared to how it used to be like a paid game, and what do you think to the TF2 community and players these days? Well, the community is awesome compared to some of the other FPS communities. I love the TF2 community. There's no, nothing bad you can ever say about anybody. Maybe a bit trolling here and there, but nothing compared to, you know, the likes of Source and like, Quake, for example. ES Reality, you know. So um, it's, it's good, but free to hasn't really expanded the competitive style very much because public is so different to competitive. It's so hard for people to come into the game. So it maybe take a bit more time before more players come through. And it's starting to show a little bit, you know, it's slightly more team concerns. For example, the Highlander tournament had a ridiculous amount of teams in it, but as a 6 for 6 competitive sport, it's not really expanding very much at all. So, And you can see that reflected in the tournaments as well. So it just all comes down to one big event every year. Do you think that TF2 is actually easier to break in than, say, something like Quake or Counter Strike that's been around for years and years and years and has these dedicated followers? Um, it's definitely a different game, but you, this, you can't ever say you couldn't break into Quake or Source. Anybody can go into those games and break into it. As you see, a lot of like release and Weber and that lot in the Source scene at the moment are breaking through. Fair enough, Quake. It's a bit more different because there's so many of these hardcore veteran players that transfer over and. Like the rat, like the zero four, who went and won that event the other week. Like, so it's it's a lot harder to break into Quake. It's kind of I don't know how well Quake's progressing at the moment because it's not very well. Well, Quake's actually getting smaller and smaller, but that's because newer esports are breaking through, like Call of Duty, sadly, and <laughs> you know um, these kind of new FPS games. And a lot of people are not really into the fast-paced FPS. Whereas you know what I like about CF2 personally is it is actually a faster game than a lot of the, like it's faster than Counter Strike without a doubt. And I think it's it's a lot of fun in the terms of play style, but it's also a more old, old school style game as well. It completely is. With the re- just in general, a respawning game is a much more old school style so, yeah, game. It adds a lot more to the game than like playing Crown Strike Source. Fair enough, it's, so it adds a lot of like clutch situations and stuff like that. Having you know, five v five, you're dead. You're dead for the minute and a half to the next round. But you see, after you die, is a you know, twenty seconds to respawn. But it means you're counting spawns and stuff like that. There's a lot more to doing that on top of playing the game and the teamwork and everything, but then the, the like, aiming style in TF2 is nowhere near, you know, as high caliber as Quake and CSS, so that's probably why a lot of people don't like the game and also the cartoony style really in it, but like, personally I really enjoy playing it, I go into YouTube phases, as everybody does in their games, but like, the thing with TF2 is that if I don't enjoy it, I can just play a different class and I can still have a bit of fun with that, right? but if I'm not enjoying Quake, it's just like, Oh, I'm going through the motions, oh, I've got to time this, I've got to time that, and you know, set the same as source really. Fair enough, you can have a bit of fun, but it's a lot harder to have fun with that game, I just got fed up with it, really. What would you say are the skill levels compared to TF2 and then other FPS games? If this, if a lot of people wouldn't really like to talk about skill levels, I don't know if you're comfortable with this. But the skill level in TF2 compared to other games, well, as I think it's quite likely because I haven't the other week, Watch what GG just said that the skill levels in the game. Is, is competitive to who you're playing against. Skill level is dependent on who you're playing against. It's not skill level in a game. Skill comes through everything and it just depends who you're playing against. It. That's the difficulty level, is who you're playing against. And obviously they, they've got the same tools as you. There's nothing, nothing changes there. Obviously CSS aiming for the head is, you know, it's, it's different. 
but there's a lot of different aiming styles and stuff in TF2 that, and there's teamwork a lot in my books, there's a lot more teamwork in TF2 and stuff like that, so well, if people say it's not, not as competitive a game, I, I disagree with that completely, just, you know, for various reasons, but those mainly, really. Well, it's nice to get the other side of TF2, because a lot of people, you know, only see the cartoony side of the game and they don't maybe take it as seriously as some of the other competitive FPS games, but... You know, a lot of people don't even say that TF2 is a competitive game, but it's really nice to get that side of it, you know, when people are actually play it and can actually give valid opinions on the game. It's, uh, it's very interesting. But, you know, it's... I don't know, do you think that it will actually progress into a bigger and bigger esport? I, I hope it would. It needs a bit more exposure. It's as simple as that. It needs exposure for people to come to the masses. And it's, it, we're trying to do it, but it's hard. You know, um, public players have this view of competitive game, competitive TF2 gaming that they just hate it straight off the bat. You know, if you go on Reddit and a competitive post gets put on Reddit, you know, you get all the competitive players on that post here and we'll still have like a score two because all the public players downvote it straight away. So it's, you know, I, I don't know how easy it will be for more players to progress in, but uh, if it does get more players, I can see it still being quite, because there's a lot of teamwork involved. It's, and it's, you know, it's a lot less single player skill because of the fact that people, you can't go and headshot one shot people. There's a lot more teamwork involved. You have to work with this team. Like, you can't just go up and kill five people. As simple as that. So, there's a, it's a lot more different skills involved. And it's, it's still, it gets a lot of ROI and it's still a good, good, good tournament to do. And fun to watch. I love watching TF2 and I cast it as well. So, that's, that's one of the things, you know. I, I'm, I'm pretty dedicated to TF2, so I do enjoy it. And if anyone wants to come into it, definitely give it a go. It's so much fun. It's, so many different ways you can play the game. Thank you, it's been great talking to you, and it's been great talking to a competitive TF2 player. I've never actually met one before, so... <laughs> First, is it? But no, thank you, I hope you guys do really well in the ISOs, and future ISOs to come. Thank you very much, and cheers for the interview.